What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, the Travel Trucker, man. We back with another video, man. Hey, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Hey, make sure you hit the notification bell. You subscribe to me on all my social media. Drop me an email if you got questions. I'm out here, man. Well, it's here. The strike has finally ended, man. We knew it wasn't going to last but two or three days because it's a couple weeks up until election. We knew that we were going to try to suspend it. I knew it was coming, but that's not saying that we didn't have any damages or casualties in this strike. I got to tell you guys, them suspending the strike until January 15th only meant one thing. They're trying to help Harris win. Trump was going to use that against her. The president called down to the union and said, hey, man. Y'all got to suspend that, hey, man. Come on, man. You can't do that. So what happened? They're going to be back to work tomorrow. But that is a good thing for you truck drivers. Rates are going to be pretty high coming out of the port, depending on where you at, because stuff been sitting for the past two, two days. So you're going to be able to name your price with them brokers, and them brokers going to be on, be on their knees trying to get that freight to move, because now they backed up, right? So if you're a truck driver, Make sure you check out them lows at the port. Well, let me tell y'all a contrast to them shutting down. Let me tell you what might have happened if this strike were to continue, which this is not the end of it. Let me tell y'all what's going to happen, right? Eventually, if you notice, when you go to a lot of these shippers and receivers and these warehouses, they have who in there working. They have a lot of illegal immigrants, right, or migrants, people that are legal, but they, 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 they just need money, right? So... This is a known fact. So, eventually, what's going to happen? These big, these big shipping companies, they're going to find a loophole to get migrant workers working in the port. Listen to me now. These people, well, our fellow truckers, our fellow people on, on, that work the cranes and all that, our fellow people, they're asking for. I think they said a seventy-five percent raise over the next five years. The companies are only offering 50% to the union. What's going to happen, they're going to let you strike on your job. They're going to end up hiring cheaper labor, i.e. the illegal migrants or migrants, because I doubt they're going to let illegal migrants work at the port. But those Guatemalans and people from the islands and Mexicans, I promise you, Port of Houston, Louisiana, Mobile, Miami, the Hispanics, or whoever the migrants are, this is not about race. Eventually, they're gonna come take that job that you think you want, you're gonna get sixty dollars for, and they're gonna do it for twenty dollars because they're gonna offer them a job and they're gonna work harder than us, which they already work harder than us now in any field you put them in, and they're gonna work for a third of what you asking. So, when you go on these strikes, you gotta tread lightly because eventually these companies are gonna get hit, and they're gonna end up just hiring cheap labor. So. You know, that's just a theory of mine. That's not what's going to happen, but it's not far-fetched. It's not beyond the realm of, shoot, they got people working in a warehouse unloading your truck that don't speak English, or they make, they're working in the mattress factories, or they're unloading the lumber on your flatbed. Why they can't unload containers off a ship? They're going to get help. They're going to somehow sponsor these workers, and they're going to be unloading these shipping containers. Now, mind you, all your favorite politicians got their hand in the pot with these shipping companies. They're not going to block a shipping company if they want to hire cheaper labor. Nobody's going to block them. There's no law on the book saying, hey, you got to hire an American to work at a port. Not going to happen. So while y'all trying to get y'all ducks in a row, you mean to tell me them billion dollar companies not getting their ducks in a row? I promise you they're going to start having migrants and illegal migrants working some way, shape or form in them ports for a third of what y'all asking. $60 an hour. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. But at the end of the day, we need our ports to work. We need our ports to function. We need our ports to live our everyday life. Shout out to the port workers. I got a lot of friends that run port freight that stay in Savannah and South Carolina and, 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 and Memphis and, and Atlanta. All, everybody runs off of port containers, even when they come through on the trains, right, on rail. But this strike, Man, I just seen the, the, the toilet paper and the, and the tissue paper was ran. It was out at the store in South Florida. This strike put a scare in a lot of people's chest, and they're getting their point across. Now, would, a, would the shipping companies get them what they asked for? Probably not. It's going to have to take a little bit more pushing 
for them to get it. But we now see that we depend a lot on our ports, okay? It don't matter what part of the country you in. If the port shut down, we all going to feel it almost within days. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, people that sell cars can't sell cars. Uh, people that need uh, building materials to build houses can't build building materials. People that imported stuff for their toy stores can't sell toys in their toy store. Walmart. Walmart imports a lot of their goods from Europe. They got their own ships. They got their own containers. But if nobody wants to unload it, that don't, that don't mean shit. So you guys got to understand how, how, how important the ports are. You had truck drivers who were, who were intermodal drivers who were contract carriers for these ports. They went days without making money because the ports are shut down. They was, they was on strike. So now all the truck drivers got to suffer because the union port workers are trying to get their fair pay. I respect it. But at the same time, somebody's suffering because you want more money. I'm not mad at y'all, but you got to look at it from both sides of the fence. As a truck driver, you messing my chicken up. Hey, but I can't lie. I can't hate. Get your money. So when that's why I try to tell other truckers, when we had that whole strike a couple years ago and everybody was taking the convoy to D.C., that shit wasn't going to do nothing. There's too many truck drivers. If everybody in trucking just stopped for one or two days, which is probably not going to happen in our lifetime, if we could just stop. For one day, if we stop for two days, boy, Jesus walking the earth. If truck drivers could unite as a whole industry and go on strike like them port workers just did, bro, 45,000 port workers went on strike on Monday. 45,000. Now, when that many people go on strike, you can't fire everybody. What you going to do, fire them? It's too many people. That's what a strike is. It's what so many people refuse to work. You got to conform to what they're asking. If all the millions of truck drivers just stop and boycott for 24 hours, America was shut down. No fuel on planes. No, 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 no UPS packages getting delivered. No, no food being delivered to babies. No nothing. If the American, if the if the American truck driver wanted fair pay with these mega carriers, we all gotta get on one page and it's shut down. But like I say, that's probably not going to happen no time soon. It's far-fetched. We're, it's too, we're too vast and too many of us to organize like that. But it's just it's just, it's just an idea, guys. But to see the, the port workers somehow shake the America to its core right before the election, to, to, they got traction now. So they're got they got they going to get them people to January 15th, I think is the date, around Martin Luther King uh, weekend to get their act together. But who knows, man? But that's all, man. We are in a new month. We just got done exercising. We in October, man. That means the last quarter of the year it means get your chicken, get y'all money, man. And shoot, man. We're going to bring in 2025 with a bang. I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to run this bag up, man. But I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one.